What's up, guys? So, if you guys haven't heard the news, Abdulmanap Nurmagomedov, who is Habib's father, has just passed away due to COVID-19, as well as some heart complications. And it's a tragic loss to everybody. I mean, to MMA, to martial arts in general, especially over there in that region around Dagestan and Russia. I mean, the man was a hero, he was a mentor, a man of respect, a man of humbleness, even went as far as to forgive Conor McGregor for the things he said, and he was a man that the world needs today, right? He had the qualities that people should have today to make the world a better place, and tragically just passed away. He's been having this battle with COVID-19 for a while. He did have heart surgery about a year ago, I believe, and then when the COVID-19 attacked him, he had to go through another heart surgery, according to Habib. And from there, we didn't hear much, right? Even Habib couldn't hear much about what was going on. He couldn't even talk to his father. Even after the surgery, even after they were taking care of him in intensive care, of course, he couldn't speak to him either. I mean, Abdulmanap couldn't speak for a while. It was a very, very serious condition. And 100% had to affect him so badly because of his age, being 57 years old. It's not old, but... You know, probably through the things he's lived through, it aged him a bit quicker. Also, having the heart conditions that he had, he was a very vulnerable state. And the last we did hear about it was that he was in serious but stable conditions, so it seemed like he was getting better, and then all of a sudden he passes away. And all condolences to the Nurmagomedov family, especially Habib, man. I mean, Habib has been very close to his father. They've gone through a lot of things in their life, a lot of adversity that most people around the world do not experience. And you can see whenever Habib has an interview or he's talking about his father, it's like he's talking about his hero. You know how a kid talks about a superhero, you know, like the, the ones in the comic books and stuff? That's how Habib talks about his father. And it just brings a smile to your face, you know, it's such a brightening thing whenever you see Habib talk about his father. Listens to him even to this day, a 31-year-old man lives with his father, listens to his father, just like always, and it's a different culture, of course, because of that, but you could just see the different kind of relationship they had. Habib might be taking this pretty hard, but the son of Adulmanap is going to be a very strong person. He'll be a very wise person, a very intelligent person, and also humble and calculated when he needs to be. So I do expect Habib to compete again. I do expect him to fight again. I do expect him to get past this in some way, use it as some kind of motivation. Use the wisdom that his father has taught him throughout his life and put it into the most important aspects of his own life. I do expect him to retire even sooner now and try to do other things for people around the world because that's what Abdulmanap did. Abdulmanap was in the military. He did save a bunch of kids in Dagestan, especially when it was really poor in the 90s and early 2000s. Became a mentor to so many kids, so many people. Was a deeply experienced and deeply knowledgeable martial artist who raised these kids in another direction away from the negative parts of life. Mix Mali Wapri made an amazing video talking about Dagestan and Habib and how Abdulmanap had an influence on so many people in Dagestan when Habib was a kid. The kids didn't have many options then. They had the option to go to the military. There were dangerous organizations like terrorist groups around and there was also combat sports, right? Those are the, some of the only options that a lot of the kids there had as they got older. So Abdulmanap did not want to see the kids grow up and experience these disastrous events that could possibly happen. So he brought them all into combat sports and trained them all in Sambo. And he has produced some of the best martial artists on the planet today, all in one region. And it's not coincidence. The man knew what he was doing. He was very intelligent and very knowledgeable. And they all look up to him. Even if they do not, like recently, train under him on a daily basis, they all looked up to him. They all looked at him as like a second father. And Habib has gotten so much respect just being the son of the man, right? Look how everybody treats Habib. Look how all the Russians and all the Dagestanis talk to Habib, how they talk about him. They talk about him with the utmost respect, not only because he's one of the best martial artists in the world, which his father helped produce, but also because he's the son of a Domenop. And that just shows the level of respect everybody has from him. Erhawani has said before, the way that people look up to Abdulmanap is something to admire. And even myself, most hardcore MMA fans, they understand the knowledge that the man brought and the humbleness that he brought to the sport. Whenever Habib would say something like, you know, I can't do crazy stuff because I'll get punished by my father. Whether it could be somewhat justified, even Vladimir Putin tried to tell Abdulmanap, you know, some of the things that Habib did can be understandable. And even Abdulmanap's like, no, it's it's... It's not that understandable. And he said that as a father. And that is extremely admirable. Even went out to give a handout to Conor McGregor and invited him as a guest. After all the garbage that Conor spewed. Immediately after Conor said that the war just started between them. And Abdulmanap is like, I respect what he's going to do. 
Whatever he does, I respect it. But I forgive him. The past is the past. And just like what Connor, you know, a lot of people are going to bring up the thing that Connor said recently that Abdul Manap is like faking it or this whole thing's not real about Abdul Manap being sick and stuff. It's just Habib running away. Yes, it was one of the dumbest things I've heard in 2020. And there's been a lot of dumb things in 2020. But we got to listen to Abdul Manap. The past is the past, right? If Connor backtracks on that and apologizes or feels bad for what he said, for sure it's something to be forgiven. And Habib for sure is going to carry on that wisdom of his father as well. Especially now that Habib has so much power and so much leverage, so much influence on the world today. A lot of people look up to Habib now. He has a voice that can impact so many people's lives. And if you're someone who believes in a purpose like everything happens for a reason, there gonna be a reason for Habib to have the influence and the power that he has, right? He said it before, he doesn't know why he has what he has. He doesn't know why he has so much money. He said he doesn't know why God gave him everything and why he deserved all of this. If you're someone who believes that everything happens for a reason, there could be some greater reason for Habib at this point. So with that, I can actually see him retire. I can actually see him retire and not fight again in the UFC and go on to other stuff to help the world, help his region, help Russia in general, you know, help whatever he needs to help and use his influence on. I can see that being a priority in his life after like a year or so, you know, after taking some time off and mourning, maybe coming to the realization of other things that are much more important than him continuing his adventure in mixed martial arts. And the big thing is Habib stayed in MMA because of his father, right? Remember when he was getting injured constantly? He was actually contemplating retirement. He was still undefeated, all that stuff, but he was going to cut his career short. And his father told him, you got to go through this adversity. This is hard, but this is where you show your manhood, which Habib talks about a lot. This is where you show your confidence. This is where you show your strength. Get through this. Get back in there. Become the champ. Become the best in the world. That's what his father wanted to see of Habib because he saw what Habib was made of. He saw what was in Habib. Not to be a quitter and call it all off because of some adversity. That's what tells me I can see him still fight and I can see him retire. Nothing is going to surprise me with his very next move, but I'm very much looking forward to it. Whatever it's going to be, wherever he wants to take his next step in life, we should all support Habib. He's already trying to help the people in Dagestan. He's trying to convince them to listen to the doctors and believe in COVID-19. He made a recent video about a month ago talking to the Dagestanis, talking to his relatives, talking to the people that he knew who live in the mountains. And he's telling them, you know, you got to listen to the doctor. You got to believe the COVID-19 is real because it is real. Do not be a guest at people's houses at this time. And it is during Ramadan where a lot of people visit each other. And he was telling them, just stay home for the time being because this is a very serious thing. And Habib has said that he's lost over 20 relatives to COVID-19. And for sure, a lot of the people over there in Dagestan are older. And it's also a very similar situation to uh, myself. I'm from the mountains as well in a foreign country. And they think the same thing. They don't believe the doctors. They don't believe COVID-19. They don't believe sicknesses and stuff like that. And they go by other methods to cure sicknesses and diseases even still today. Not as much as before, obviously, but it's still carried on and believed in more than the word of the doctors, right? And it could be shocking to some people, but that's, that's just what it is. And hopefully... This event does help people prevent from any other travesty happening where more people are passing away due to the sickness. Yes, young people are not in as much danger. They could fight off COVID-19 a lot better. Some don't even feel the symptoms and effects of it. But the older people, especially the older people with heart conditions and you know health problems and stuff, those are the people we got to protect. Everybody has to think about them mostly. Because they're the ones in a very vulnerable state. And I can personally relate to it. My mother, about eight months ago, she went through three brain surgeries and she's around Abdulmanap's age. And she actually gets convinced that it's not real by her relatives who are from the mountains as well. And I try to do my best to protect her and tell her, you know, this is what it is. Don't be scared of it. Be very precautious because you're at a very vulnerable state. And even MMA fighters, I mean, look how many fighters have gotten it. Look how many cornermen have gotten. Brendan Schaub just got it. And I understand these guys are younger. They're fighting it a lot better. But still, they can pass it on to other people. I believe they have kids, very young kids. And if you don't believe in COVID-19, but you have it, you might go and visit your grandparents and something very regrettable can happen. I don't talk about the COVID-19 that much because, of course, I'm not an expert in it. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist or anything. But, but this impact in our sphere and seeing that it's spiking now and how a lot of people just don't mind it anymore as much when stuff like that happens it is something to once in a great while to remind everybody you know so rest in peace Abdulmanab Nurmagomedov a man of respect a man of humbleness a real hero a respectful mentor a man of wisdom and deep knowledge the man with qualities that the world needs today <laughs> Yes, 
пригласил Коннора в гости. И почему бы, значит, ему не посетить Дагестан? На самом деле его простили? Да. Вот, абсолютно. Вот, понимаете, вот... За те оскорбления? Вот... Нет, это все прошло. Нельзя останавливаться, жизнь продолжается. И наша религия должна показать милосердие не на словах, а на деле. Если он приедет, вы уйдете, то же самое. Примем его как дорогого гостя. И Хабиб примет его также. Ну и Хабиб никогда, значит, чего объявлял я, значит, он это не отрицал. Please, please, I wanna talk about my father. Please, please, I wanna talk only about father. Please, I miss my father. I miss my father always, you know. When I saw the. Young fans, respect your parents, be your parents very close. This is very important. Parents, everything, you know, your mother, your father, and that's it.